know our next guest from Girls, Community, and Love, which sounds kind of nice all put together. Her scary new movie is called Come Play. It opens at theaters Friday. Please welcome Gillian Jacobs. Hi, Gillian. Hi, Jimmy. How are you? I'm so happy to be with you virtually. <laughs> I know. It's almost like being, it's, it's in a way better than being with me physically. Uh, trust me on that one. <laughs> Uh, how are, what's going on with you? You, uh, oh, last time you, you have earrings, I see. You've got the hoop earrings. And I mention that because the last time you were physically here in our studio, you got your ears pierced for the first time in your life. That's right, I did, right on that very stage where you are now. Yeah, you did. And remind me again of why you got your ears pierced here. Valid question, Jimmy. Um, I thought to myself, unless I commit to doing this live on Jimmy Kimmel, I will never get my ears pierced. So uh, I floated it to your producers. You were kind enough to indulge me, and I got my ears pierced on national television. I think we have a clip from that really historic TV moment. Uh, my heart is racing right now. <laughs> is it really? Oh, my God. I am so scared. Why oh was my God. I allowed to? All right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> are, yeah. Are there any are there any other fears you would like to confront? Uh, I don't know, maybe we can get you a tattoo of a dandelion or something like that. Think about it. Yeah, well, I saw that clip of uh, Regis Philbin on the scooter. I, too, have never ridden a scooter, so you could certainly give me a motorcycle lesson live on air, whatever. Have you ever been a passenger on a scooter? Absolutely not. Oh, oh, my heart is once again racing, but for you, Jimmy, I will try it. Wow, you play it very uh, safe, don't you? Feet on the ground, that's how <laughs> I like to <laughs> Would you say you are a fearful person? Uh, riddled with fear and anxiety, yes. Um, my, oh. father got me, <laughs> my father got me a ski lesson when I was a very little child, and he came back at the end of the hour, and he asked the teacher, how did it go? And she said, well, she refused to move the entire hour because she said it was too dangerous. So I've always, <laughs> I've always been very protective of my physical well-being. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And yet you have some kind of ski-related picture on the wall behind you. Is that to remind oh, you to, yeah, to, to not do anything, I guess, huh? Exactly. Look how terrifying that looks. Why would I do that? <laughs> How's your mom doing? You talked about your mom the last time you were here, and your mom is not the usual mom. She is not the usual mom. I go so hard on my mom on talk shows, and she's such a good sport. Yes, so my mother's actually here with me for a few months during uh, the quarantine, and she managed to, through some aggressive gardening, knock down part of my neighbor's fence. So we've had an event. <laughs> aggressive gardening, I like that. <laughs> yes, that's, that's how I like to term it. Was your neighbor unhappy about that? I could not ask for a more kind and understanding neighbor, but I have to tell you that it's really a panicked phone call to say, hi, how are you? Uh, we don't really know each other, but I have knocked down part of your fence. I very quickly followed that up with, I will pay to have it repaired. But yeah, not a phone call you want to make to a neighbor. No, yeah, but it's, you know, the fact that you made it, I think, makes everything okay. Is your mother dry? Sure. You're, so you live, your mother was living with you. Oh, yes, yes, she was here for several months, yeah. By the end of it, she actually wanted to leave, and I was telling her to stay because I was afraid of her flying. But she, in a real <laughs> role rehearsal, was begging to leave. So it would, all these things that you are scared of, you're in this movie, it's a scary movie. Will, will you watch this movie? No, no, no. no. I, I don't really watch scary movies. Um, my version of that as a child was... Not like the Friday the 13th, but my mother would take me to films with real adult content that frightened me. Like, she once showed me a movie all about incest, and I sat there, like, jaw agape, watching this film next to my mother. And at the end of it, I looked at her kind of like, why have you done this? And all she said was, the costumes were lovely. So, uh, <laughs> that's what she me, but she seemed totally unfazed by it. <laughs> so you're scared of skiing? Um, yes. Ears being pierced, uh, probably yes. blood of any kind, scary movies. Uh -huh. Um, really everything. I mean, is there anything that you do that's dangerous that we would, uh, nothing probably, huh? I think just existing. existing I mean, there's a- is dangerous. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, uh, no, I have never really, I mean, I, my dad also said in elementary school, he was for some reason shadowing me in gym class and the teacher set up a series of boxes for us to jump over like hurdles. And my dad said that I ran up to the first one, moved it to the side, ran to the second one, moved it to the side. So I like to find a way around any kind of... Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> you should be observed at all times. We really. <laughs> Would you be willing to let us put a nest cam in your home? Sure, yeah. Okay. I mean, you could set an up an obstacle course for me. Anything for you. Um, <laughs> nothing on my own. Anything for television. Well, thank you for being with us. I want to be careful. You've got an exposed outlet behind you. Um, <laughs> It's right near the plant. There could be a fire. Please get some kind of a uh, child plug. Oh, my in mother that set thing. our house on fire one time when I was little, too. So. <laughs> right. We'll talk about that one the next time. Thank you, Gillian. Gillian Jacobs, come play as your movie. It's scary. She won't see it, but it opens in theaters Friday. We'll be back with Gracie Abrams. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.